Hey beautiful, I hope you are keeping safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, psychic medium and divine channeler, and this is the Leo reading. Please bear in mind that as a rule, all of my readings are timeless and you'll find the guidance that is right for you or when you need to hear it. Whether that is today, next week, next month, trust in divine timing. Sometimes these readings appear on your timeline a year after I've posted them. You'll always find the guidance you need at the right time. So we're going to start with the inner child tarot now and for the extended reading I feel like we'll be going light seer tarot but I'm swaying in between light seer and troubadour so we'll play that bit by ear as we get there. Okay so what do we need to know? Do, 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 do. Cards falling out. Ace of Wands. Okay, so the Ace of Wands is that big transformation. Things coming together, raveling together or unraveling to come together. And it does feel big. It feels like I want to say it feels like the leap of faith you've been waiting for because I do feel to get this unraveling unraveling together there is a leap of faith because it's like I've got this sinking feeling in my stomach like here we go let's do it and I want to say the strength the courage it takes to make this transformation is going to be so worthwhile. It's going to be I want to say it's going to be magical because I feel it's that bigger change it can't be any other than magical and magnificent. It feels bigger than you can maybe perceive just yet. Because I feel there's a little bit of you I don't believe, I don't see, I don't feel. I actually feel it's about time you did dare. It's about time you did push forwards and I want to say make it happen. I do feel like there's a bit of a head, heart, tug of war going off where you're not really sure whether well, no, it's not really sure because I feel like your heart's already made the decision. It's everything else that's got to catch up. So it's not really not being sure. It's more of your heart, decide, your head deciding it's at the same place as your heart and making it happen. Because I do feel you are sure. You are certain what you want and where you want to be so i suppose it's time to end the battle between head and heart and just go for it you can do this you've been preparing for this for a long time it's not a new thing it's not just a on a whim there's been a lot of preparation there's been a lot of building momentum to get to this point and you can do it you already know you're going to do it so what are you putting it off for why are you delaying your happiness because that or that's what it is yes you've maybe got to push through that comfort barrier but you're delaying your happiness the longer you leave it 
you're actually making it harder on yourself because the longer you, the, you leave it, the more tug of war carry on you're having and the more overthinking. Just do it. Don't waste your energy putting it off. Use your energy wisely and make it happen. You know what it's, you want to do. So start the transformation. Make it happen now. We've got the Two of Swords. So there is, I would say that that is that inner battle which you're going through. Because it is an inner battle. It feels like it's a battle of... A battle of will. A battle of... You're battling yourself. That is what you're doing. Nobody else is fighting you. You're doing it all yourself. You're making it harder for yourself. Just do it. Then we've got the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords is about letting go. The swords are cutting ties. The Ten is a completion and a new beginning. And you really are completing a cycle. And I would say this is a completion of a karmic cycle and the enterings of a brand new beginning. The new beginning you have been waiting for. The new beginning you are deserving of and worthy of. It's time to break the cycle. It's time to make it happen. And go and have that transformation. Go and have what you've been hoping for and dreaming of. When you take action, the universe will respond and support you. But it's got to come from you first. It's got to come from your heart. And then there will be more balance in your heart because you will be beyond these rocky waves, uncertain tides, and you'll be in much calmer waters and I feel like this action, this transformation is moving you forward to somebody. And that will bring balance. That will bring more harmonious times and more peace within your heart. So, let's make it happen. Go for it, Leo. You can do this. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to head over to your extended reading now to find out more information and clarification around this situation and anything else you need to know. If this is where you leave me, then thank you so very much for joining me. As always, it is a pleasure. I'm truly grateful to be able to support you on your journey. Please do me a massive favour and like and comment on the video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Namaste. Bye.